We begin with lions making a global impact. Millions of children do not have enough to eat. The percentage of, of kids lacking adequate access to food grows virtually without limit across the world in every country. In the Philippines, it's one in three. In the United States, it's one in five. And the numbers are, are similarly unacceptable almost everywhere you look. Hungry children do not learn well. Lions are stepping up to address this issue in communities around the world. Near Montreal, Canada, lions provide a healthy snack for children to start their day. Two times a week, we deliver 35 platters of fruit and cheese in collaboration with a local grocery to selected schools in the region. The importance of the healthy snack is to help children satisfy their hunger and better concentrate on their studies and activities. There's an increase to breakfast programs because that's been shown scientifically time and again that it's an absolute required condition to learn. The program started in 1997 in one school. We started the project because there was a great need in the community. Now the program serves nine schools and Lions hope to expand to 11 in the coming year. When the healthy snacks arrive, the children are happy and they are usually in a rush to get them. I'm very sensitive to the fact that kids don't have enough to eat. It troubles me and it troubles the entire Lions Club. So I really want to be involved and help correct that situation. In Bagao, Philippines, Lions asked a local school what they could do to help. We have some children who have no lands. They belong really to a poor family. Lions come to the school and provide much needed food. Good nutrition affects the ability of the children in going to school because if the child is a malnourished, they cannot learn so much. Vegetables, fruits, protein. Bagao Lions also teach students and their parents about good nutrition in a fun and interactive way. Since I am a pediatrician, I decided to do a nutrition lecture. I recommend a balanced diet. Vegetable and fruits. Very good, Abigail. There are lots of malnourished kids eating junk foods, and I have to educate them, even the parents, what kind of food to eat in order to have a sound mind and a healthy body. And while the Lions give backpacks and school supplies to all the children, the club also gives vitamins and nutrition supplements so that children who need it most have a supply of essential nutrients. I feel very fulfilled every time we do activities. In the U.S., Indiana Lions took it a step farther by making sure that children have food over the weekend. Northeast Indiana four or five years ago was really struggling with unemployment rates, the free and reduced lunch rates at elementary schools was starting to spike. We realized we had some issues with kids that we knew were going to be hungry on weekends. Thus, the Boomerang Backpack Program began and Lions decided to get involved. If possible, we'll have some fruits and some fruit juices. Our kids are everything, and so we got to make sure that they have enough nourishment to function. Every Friday, more than 30 students are sent home with backpacks full of food. It makes me feel really, really good and happy to know that they're not going hungry, that they do have food to eat over the weekend. The kids really look forward to getting their boomerang backpacks on Fridays. They bring them back on Mondays. Uh, the food's been eaten and they're ready to, to get down to school work and get ready for business. What do we have there? 276. Perfect, Reese, nice job. We're helping out kids, we're fighting childhood hunger. And if everybody comes together and we pool resources, then the children will win.